tickets. All right. Hello and welcome to this week's platform meeting. It's July the 9th. Um, it's our second meeting this quarter. I'm posting the meeting agenda to the consumer channel. I think it's tough. Okay. All right. We don't have any extra items from last week. And we can jump directly into um, roundtable section. So there is something uh, I have there. Uh, it's buddy up for uh, But if you want to talk about anything else, you're more than welcome to just edit there. Um, I added buddy up uh, um as a follow up to our discussion last week. Uh, so the next steps for us with buddy up is to make it sure that it's localizable, uh, or to actually make it localizable, um, allow people who speak Spanish to use it, for example, and which means have the UI localized, but also filtering for languages. And that's going to be uh, the last thing we do uh, for buddy up before we put it into maintenance mode, which should be good enough to be shipped with Firefox OS 2.5 until we find anything big, and of course then we would fix it. Uh, but otherwise, um, that's, the, that's the next big thing for running up. Um, so that's going to get into the sprint uh, starting next week. And uh, until then, we are on the Disarrowed of Item on the Unified Ask a Question page. Do you guys have any uh, comments or feedback on the buddy up piece. Okay, then we can move on to the round map section. Yeah, the unified ask a question page. Uh, Mike had already shown us a mock up uh, for what's coming up there, uh, and it's um, in the sprint this week. And um, Mike, are we still on track uh, with finishing that up uh, until next Tuesday? Oh, you're muted, by the way, if you're saying anything. Um, I, I think we should be able to get something so we can start A-B testing it to some degree. All right, that sounds good. Um, so what we're going to do is we have the old flow and the new flow, and we'll be able to uh, set a portion of our user base to the old one and a portion of it to the new one. And then we'll be able to see how uh, the metrics behave um, for those two different paths. So I'm very excited about that. All right. Um, yeah. So as I said, as both the items go, that's the that's currently on the roadmap. But the upper alternate is going to uh, keep us busy the sprint after that. Um, and then we are getting into the realm of our last two uh, uh, roadmap items. Uh, one of that being uh, the optimized product landing page, and the other one. Um, Yes, uh, our, okay, I, I said Kitsune is a single page app, but essentially what's going to be is it's a support forum that we are moving to the new platform. Uh, that's what we have on the agenda. Um, and for that, so for the optimized product planning page, uh, I think we have the plan ready and uh, we are just executing on it now. Um, the next steps were to put it into Optimizely and integrate it uh, with Google Analytics. Um, so Joni might already be a step ahead of me there. Uh, for me, it would be integrating it with Google Analytics. Um, but for that, actually, to run the uh, experiment, we are still waiting uh, for the exit survey data to come in. Now, unfortunately, that it's 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 not a stream; it's a trickle. Uh, like very few people actually. We, the exit survey goes out to about 10 to 20 percent of our user base, and then from those who respond to us, 5 percent tell us that they have stopped using Firefox, and then an even smaller percentage tells us why they have stopped using Firefox. And then from those crashes and slowness, an even smaller percentage tells us like what exactly they mean with a crash and what exactly they mean with slowness. So because of that, it takes a long time to actually get data. Uh, with a confidence interval that is small enough to make any sense of it. Uh, and I think this is going to take at least another two weeks before we can have actionable data there. But once we get it, we can just plug it in and uh, run this experiment. 
And then once the experiment is through, you would then implement the winner from the experiment. Um, yep, yeah, that's the optimized product running page. Uh, so currently it works. Right, if there's nothing to talk about there, we can move on to the last item. Uh, so yeah, I might change the title there um, to a more dynamic and unique. And um, for the support forum, that's pretty much what it's going to be. Um, but we actually, this is my next step to write up the project page for this, uh, so we can get started on uh, figuring out what exactly the pieces are going to be that need to be in place before we can start with the implementation. Uh, and I'm assuming that this is going to be uh, like in the second half of the quarter. Uh, based on all the work that we have to do beforehand. And that's what we currently have on the roadmap. Uh, so lots of stuff uh, just um, in planning phase. But I'm guessing that from next week on and the week after that, we will have a lot more stuff actually in, in the works, uh, ready for implementation or about to be implemented. So this is our Q3. Um, you guys, does that sound good to you? All right. OK, I see a lot of money. Um, my hope is that uh, for the next quarter, uh, for Q4, we can already get started on planning things in the middle of this, qu uh, this quarter, as we usually try to do. Um, so if you, if you have anything, let me know about that uh, for the next quarter. Madmin already told me that the um, community hub changes that we wanted to do, that they will shift into the fourth quarter to give us some more time to actually find what we want to get out of it, uh, which I think is a great idea. Uh, so if you have other things uh, for the fourth quarter, just let me know, and we can schedule that. Uh, because of that, um, we, are, like, uh, we are scheduling the community hub changes it means that we are probably going to have like a two-week uh, uh, sprint phase that's not uh, accounted for yet. So um, if there's anything high profile which you think you forgot before or you didn't know about before and you want to get into the product now, there is a window there. Um, it wouldn't be in the next sprint, it would be in the sprint after that. So. Um, let me know if that's something that would be valuable to you. If not, we will continue with working on the backlog. Um, and we have a long backlog. Uh, so it's not that we don't have anything to do. Uh, but um, regarding roadmap items, we now have a little gap there that's so available. Kadir, sorry, I forgot to mention the mobile article page uh, optimization. I think we talked about it maybe four meetings ago, but. I just, yeah, I, I hadn't put it formally into the roadmap. Is that something we can add or? Oh, yeah, uh, Johnny, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, did we say it would be like a 25% item or did we say it would be a roadmap item? Um, I don't remember. It, mi uh, it might be 25%, which is works for me. Um, but if you want to, we can actually uh, elevate it to a roadmap item and use that uh, cycle that we were actually reserving for the community hub. Oh yeah, even better. All right, let's talk about it in our own one then. Okay. Uh, let's define that and uh, make sure that we have all the prerequisites ready for to slide that into the into that spread. All right. Um, so maybe an update on uh, how we have changed working a little bit uh, on the server side. So I'm still talking about sprints. Uh, but we are actually trying to be a bit more uh, flexible with how we handle uh, the workload. Um, so we don't have these hard sprints anymore where I move something into the sprint and then out of it in the, uh, during the sprint planning and review. Instead, we have a long backlog of things that uh, we work on. Um, so it shouldn't change too much for our discussion here because we still break down things in like bigger things, roadmap items into 14 day intervals. It just gives me, it's easier for me to deal with that. If I can say, okay, we have like three slots or six slots this quarter, and how many slots does every project get? Uh, that makes it easier for me to account for that. Um, 
but if you look at the engineering side of things, it's actually not sprints anymore. We are not tracking that anymore. Um, so you won't be seeing uh, the uh, traditional uh, whiteboard field uh, with, with those uh, anymore. Just so you know, this is an experiment. And um, I'm not sure if we've talked about this before, but it's being accompanied by uh, a tool that Mike wrote. I'm going to put that here into our meeting notes as well. Mm. Should have probably brought that up in the round table and that. Okay. So the tool is called Advin. Um, and it gives us a view of like the, the work to come. And just like you are doing, uh, the champions are doing with the, uh, with the with their prioritized backlogs, this is essentially the backlog for our development team. So the most important thing is at the top, and the least important thing is at the bottom. And um, the team just works from top to bottom. And if you have things that need to um, uh, slide into that, uh, into that order, we can do that. Um, we don't have the priority orders anymore. We don't have the P1s, P2s, P3s anymore. So this is how we are now managing uh, what to work on next. Yeah, uh, as I said, this is an experiment. Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. Kadir. <laughs> uh, I just have a question. We are still using the the priority, the um, backlog, the, the, yes. the spreadsheet for, for the champions. Yes, we are still using the uh, uh, spreadsheet for the champions, so that no, no changes there. Uh, this mm -hmm. is uh, just for development. Okay. Uh, we were using Ernest before as the uh, tool to track um, sprints, and we are retiring Ernest now. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, so Mike isn't done yet with that tool. It's going to get a few more uh, niceties, um, and it's going to make it easier uh, for us to, to like, uh, manage the sprints, essentially. Moving things out, in and out of them won't be as necessary anymore as before. Because otherwise, what would happen was that at the end of uh, one spread, we would realize that the number of items didn't get done because we had um, moved some other things into the sprint during the sprint. And then we would have, I, have, I would have to move those items to the next sprint. But because I already had planned the next sprint, I would then have to move things from that sprint to the one after that, which meant a lot of work, uh, manual work, and unnecessary for everybody. Uh, so this is hopefully going to make that easier to handle. And once we have the uh, markers, we will also see like, okay, from the backlog, so this is going to happen in the next sprint. This is what we can deliver. And everything after that is the for later. Sweet. Um, yeah, I'm really happy about that. Thanks a lot, Mike, for working on this. Oh, you're muted, by the way. I, I think you said something. Yeah, you're so muted. You didn't say you were going to link to that tool in the meeting notes? Yes, I uh, put that in there under, we are moving away from traditional sprints in the round table section. Right, this link to Edwin. Yes. Um, sorry, now that I'm not muted, um, I was now you are you muted. You were unmuted. I'm saying that I'm moment. pretty excited about this new time planning on adding to it. Uh, Mike, there, there was a huge lag, and you were muted for a bit. So we it, it's not much. important. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, video. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, ideally, this doesn't have any effect on our discussions here. Uh, but I thought I would bring this up because it's a change from the tool that we've been using before, and it's also a change in, uh, in workflow. Um, hopefully, you guys won't be affected by that too much. Uh, but for me, I'm actually I, I like that. I'm, I'm sad about that experiment. All right. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Uh, I finally added something to that spreadsheet. So check my tab, and it's not empty. So when there's Perfect. backlog uh, time, just make sure to check my tab. 
Awesome. I'll do that. Um, and and I, uh, I've heard that some people weren't actually sure how we move things from the spreadsheet to the sprints. Uh, so just so you guys know, what, what I essentially go by is, is um, in every sprint, I try to take something from um, like a number of people's backlog. So we are not able to take something from everybody's backlog in every sprint because we, we reserve our 25% time for that. So essentially what happens is like if in this sprint I take something from Mark, uh, Madalena, and Jody, in the next sprint I would take something uh, f uh, from Rachel's, uh, mine, and somebody else's backlog. Uh, so that's how I, I try to um, give even, even time for everybody in the team for that 25% time. This is not the same for uh, the roadmap. Uh, for the roadmap, it's not about fairness or anything. Uh, it's really about figuring out what is going to have the biggest impact uh, from the things that we're doing here. Um, so th that's that's the difference between the roadmap stuff and the 25% uh, time stuff. So yeah, if you put stuff on the prioritized backlog, it's guaranteed uh, to land into one of the next sprints. And I have one more question, sorry, <laughs> Kadir. Um, mm -hmm. Do you normally you normally mark like when a bug has so has been completed from the backlog? Do you mark them in the spreadsheet, or do we have to check them? Uh, actually, I some, I do that, but I would love for you to do that because you are managing your own backlog. Uh, so having a look at it um, like once a week or so to make sure that the highest uh, that that the um, item on the top is still your highest priority, that would be really great. Uh, but since you will be CC to the bugs anyway, you will see the bugs being moved into the sprint and uh, the bugs being uh, marked as, as fixed. So once you see that the, mark, uh, the bug has been marked as fixed, it would be great if you could update the spreadsheet as well. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I am, otherwise I'm, I'm doing that, but it takes me a while usually. Uh, so if you're on top of that, that would be a huge help. But yeah, you know, right, I mean that, that makes sense. Their own yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and awesome. also, I, I wanted to note um, the action of moving something into Edwin doesn't actually send an email like moving it into uh, Sprint would, um, since we're using a field that doesn't send emails. Um, yeah, so you would be notified. Uh, so I, I usually list those things in the uh, community meeting on Mondays. Uh, but also you would be definitely notified once it changes state. So once somebody starts working on it, uh, it would be assigned to that person. And then you would also get all the mail, that, uh, back mm -hmm. mail that you would usually get. But yes, Mike, you're right. It's not actually sending emails anymore. Before, if you moved something into the sprint, I would actually uh, change the whiteboard field we're not doing that anymore. Um, but you will still know when people start working on, on those parts. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Mike, for bringing that up. All right. What else? Do we have anything else we want to talk about? Um, is there any update on the progress of uh, fixing all the template titles? Oh, that's very good question, and uh, Michal isn't here. Uh, so Mike, r let me run that uh, for you on a big base uh, right after this meeting, and I can check if there is still anything left. And if not, we can just go ahead uh, with um, the fix you have, and if there is anything, I will let Michal know. He, he will still be working today, uh, so, and if I'm not mistaken, it should almost all be done. Like there would only be a handful of things left if there's anything left. Okay. Um, so we should be able to fix that either today or tomorrow. Cool. Yeah, I remember last time I talked to him, he said he was going to get it done the day after, and but I had it follow up with him after that. So when I looked at the spreadsheet, it looked like a lot of it was done. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we expect that too. Uh, so at that point, I would just go through and delete all the things that uh, are not necessary anymore. And with that, we should be done. Um, yeah, let me let me get to that right after this meeting, Mike. Right? Okay, thank you. Should I? All right. Any other last minute items? All right, then thanks for being here. Um, and I'll hopefully talk to you guys again 
next week. Uh, actually, let me check that because we got an invite, I think, for next week. Oh, yes. Uh, so we have an engagement-wide meeting uh, next week uh, that goes until, um, what is that now, 9.30? So I would suggest that we uh, start this meeting at 9.30 instead of 9. That's okay for you guys. All right, I'll change the invite accordingly. And uh, this meeting will then start at 9.30 next week. See you all then. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.